Claire. I tell you what, it's the most beautiful morning for a ribbon snipping. The red ribbon is glistening in the sunlight. Um, I actually put, you know, long trousers on thinking it'd be cool at this time of day, but I am roasting. It's going to be a corker of a day, I tell you. And here in Modern Jiggers Bike, we're about 200 metres down, the, uh, down the, the hill itself, in the main area that caused all the problems. It looks amazingly dramatic. The sheer scale of the, the height of it, the length of it is about 200 metres long. It's as tall as a, as a block of flats. And these, the catch nets that catch the rocks um, if they tumble again, you know, are also glistening in the sunlight. It really is quite dramatic. With me is Neil Rushton, who's the Structures and Geotechnics team leader of the Telford and Region Council. Seven months uh, project, a long project. Run us through what's, what it involved. Okay, so um, back in November we had a small rock fall and a handful of tons of rock fell overnight. Uh, it was quickly followed by about 40 tons of rock. Uh, the road was obviously closed as an emergency measure. We then came forward with a, um, a ground investigation which enabled us to do a design. That design was submitted for uh, planning approval, which we were happy to secure. We also went out to tender and got our contractors, McPhillips, on board to actually do the work. And then over the past few months, we've actually been moving about 20,000 tonnes of rock and debris from the face to actually make it stable. 20,000 tonnes? 20,000 tonnes, that's right, yes. Of rubble, debris? trees? Mixed rubble from uh, topsoils, vegetation, mature trees, uh, understory from the trees and, and solid rock. Okay, there have been some interesting challenges uh, with this project haven't there? Things like coal mines, yes, seams of coal. That's like right, that. yes, we're right at the bottom of the coal measures here and we encountered a couple of coal seams along the way which we've had to seal off to stop air getting into them and if we don't do that there's a risk that they'll actually catch fire in situ. We've also excavated out um, very old ironstone workings that we found on the site and they've been the subject of an archaeological appraisal in the survey as well. Is that what caused, uh, is it, was it a delay for you? It's, it seems like a long time. It's a very long time but if you, if you actually work out the process of going to planning and through design and, and ground investigation and whatever, it's actually been a very quick turnaround for a project of this scale. How do you feel about it? It's excellent, yes, really pleased with it. It's come out very good. Looking at it, it's amazing, isn't it? It's, it's, uh, it's a surprise when you drive along the road, yes. There's a wow factor. How permanent is this? It's permanent, yes. We, we're confident that uh, the design's appropriate for the site. So no more rock falls? Well, the catch fence is there to, to catch small pieces of rock that will inevitably fall from the face. So um, you're hoping we won't be there's seeing. an expectation that that will happen, but not a mass rock fall now. As we have had before. Absolutely. Let's have a quick word with uh, Peter McPhillips, who's the contractor on this job. Uh, half, half the course for you, really, this kind of difficult, challenging work. Yeah, it's a, a very challenging project, really, but not so much with the change of uh, geology as the excavator was uh, coming down the hillside. So, uh, testament really to the, the guys that undertook the project to do it safely and uh, uh, to have a fantastic outturn. So really for you, it was it was thinking about the men doing the work, making sure they were okay dealing with these unstable conditions? Correct really, as I say, it's, uh, the quality of the, of the people that did it is of first class. Excellent. You're proud of what you've done here? Yeah, very much so, yes. I think everybody involved with it, the whole team from uh, the engineers from the council to our guys on site that undertook the works, it's, it's fabulous, yes. You've got anchor points and all sorts of things, how deep do they go? Uh, they go horizontally into, into the rock six to eight metres. Okay, quick word with Richard Overton, the oh. councillor responsible for this kind of thing. Um, how much does this cost? Um, that's a good question. I think it's £400,000. Okay, um, we'll go straight to the ribbon snipping then. Okay, yes. Here we go. I'd like to now reopen Jiggers Bank. Yay! Yay! 